Mothers and children in need left on the street. Homeless advocates right here in Cleveland tell News 5 government funds usually target a narrow piece of the entire homeless population. Kevin Berry digging deeper, telling us why that often makes it harder for homeless families to find stable housing. Between summer vacation pictures on your Facebook feed, we found this post from the City Mission Shelter. It says they had to turn 91 women and children away in just one day because there were so few resources for homeless families that need them. My story it was, is rough. It's really rough. In the nine months Evelyn Andrews has spent at the City Mission's women's shelter, Laura's house. I'm 46 years old and I have never lived on my own. She's learned everything she never knew about living out in the world. I didn't know how to live in society. I was always incarcerated. I was always locked up. She's been at another facility three times. And yet here she came again to the city mission. The city mission CEO Rich Trickle says women like Evelyn and their kids often cycle through homeless shelters because of how they're designed to work. Well, it's it's all about funding. The three county shelters that handle homeless families are funded by federal and county money, forcing them to prioritize getting families out of shelters and into housing as soon as possible, sometimes with rental vouchers to help cover a few months of rent. Rich argues that might work for some people, but not people like Evelyn. She spent nine months in Laura's home before she moves into a subsidized apartment as early as this week. They're not going to survive just because you put them in a house and give them four months of rental vouchers. He says the solution might be government rethinking how it uses its funding or the surrounding community stepping up. You know, government did not used to be the primary provider of this. It, it was society, it was the church, it was families, it was society that took care of people. The county says right now they have no plans to build any additional family shelters. Rich says the demand for shelters is expected to spike in the summer when kids are out of school and it can be harder to live with family and friends full time. I'm Kevin Barry, News 5.